Nobody tells you that your relationship with your partner changes when you have a baby. I'm not saying it will change for the worse, hopefully for the better, but there will be a period of adjustment. This brand new, noisy, demanding little human has come to live with you and it's gonna take time to work out a new rhythm and a new way of doing things. It's so normal for there to be friction between couples as they work out their new roles. So don't be disheartened. It's just a new stage you need to work out together. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. Okay, today's video is about a certain lady that said she doesn't mind if she's been selfish. She said she told her husband that if he does not start picking up the slack and being active in the house and also in the lives of his of his kids, that he's going to divorce him and also she she's going to give him full custody of those kids and pay child support she wouldn't want to be a primary parent yeah she said that she was whining talking about how her life has changed how she sacrificed a whole lot for the, the man and also the children she said she had to give up her school her career her health she's really not happy she spoke about how she wanted to travel the world and do things but right now she's locked in the house and she doesn't think she might ever do that actually not happy just a sad mom venting okay let me quickly read a story and then we'll get to talk about it am i a pos and selfish I told my husband that if he didn't start picking up the slack and being active in the house and with the kids, I would divorce him and give him full custody. I'd happily pay any amount of child support than be trapped as the primary parent. At this point, I don't care if I am POS and selfish. I have already sacrificed my schooling, career and health for him and the kid. I'm tired of being trapped, taking care of two boys with ASD and it's not easy. I'm tired of, Im of imagining myself shooting my brains out multiple times a day when the stupid screaming and crying and whining starts. I wanted to travel the world to ad adventure and instead I'm locked in the house with two kids that can't handle being out public. One thing I can say is it eats me up all the time. I feel like there was a section of like two months where I was like, I wouldn't even say I was a bad husband. I would just say I wasn't as um, supportive. Genuinely am. Again, sorry for, for for that time. I wasn't even like I was evil. It was just that I just didn't actually understand mm -hmm. that what you were going through was like a real thing. It's right when she when she got pregnant with uh, Kiki, she was scared again. She was like, man, we just, we just did this. Now we gonna do this again? That's when I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna take it upon me to try and come at this with a different approach. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I thought that way is because my mom had Junior, my little brother, when I was like 14, 15 years old. So in my head, I'm, when I say this immediately, the second my mom had my little brother, I'm talking about the next day she's at work. She had no choice, my dad had, had, had left. So in my eyes, I never saw my mom cry. Oh, she's overstimulated. She had a kid in high school, a kid in middle school, a kid in elementary school, yeah. and a newborn baby all at the same time. And she had to work. In my head, I'm like, man, my mom, not, but I was viewing that from like a child's lens. Now being in the spot of like uh, your husband, you see a lot of things that like, that go behind closed doors that you don't see as a kid so like just because i didn't see my mom crying as as a kid does not mean that she wasn't going in her room by herself and crying wasn't going in the bathroom and keeping that from us so that's why i had took that from it and i was wrong for that so i did my own research and i found out no I, okay this is what's going on this is how you handle it it's, there's not really like a, a cure or remedy or anything you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. you just gotta just be there for your partner what's going on social media check this out though Females is always saying, I need a break. I need a break. I'm always got my kids. I'm always with the kids. I don't have time for myself. Let me ask you this, ladies. The, 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 the father of your children, y'all not together no more. But he's a good dad. He has a good job, has a nice house, and does well for himself. You, have, you guys have two kids together. What if he said, I would like to take full custody of the kids. And you can see him on the weekends. You know, you know I'm a good dad. You know I take care of him. But I would like to have full custody of the two boys and teach them some stuff from a guy. You can visit him or pick him up whenever you're ready. What would you ladies say to that? Because it seems to me that every time it's some kind of... It just seems to me traditionally the kids always go with the mother. 
I don't know if that's because they birthed them or what, but it seems like traditionally speaking that the kids always end up going with the mother and the father is the one getting visitation or coming to pick them up and stuff. But as a woman with a good baby father, per se, what if your father of your kids said, I want full custody, you can, you can pick them up whenever you want to, any day of the week, weekends, whenever. What would your lady say? Or do you need your babies close to you? Y'all tap in the comments. So yeah, this is her outcry. She's feeling frustrated and um, the husband is not even helping. And um, she just said, if a husband does not assist in the house and also with the kids she's going to divorce him this is very serious and i think i have spoken about this a lot on this channel those husbands are absent husbands and absent fathers in the house a lot of men believe that the best they can do is go out there work and bring money and i have said this several on this channel that being a husband and a father is way more than just going out there and bringing money you need to help out with house chores if you can if, if you can't you bring someone that would do that for you you pay someone to do that for you and then for your kids you really do need to be in their lives you need to make time out everything is not all about money 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 alone cannot train a child bring up a child you get there are things you need to do in the lives of your kids as a father as a dad it's very important for you to be there in their lives I, I think i've made a couple of videos on this before i've spoken on this before so let's look at what her issues are like i said the first one she's not been supported by her husband her husband is not helping at all everything is on her i don't know if he's also bringing money because she didn't talk about that but right now she said if he does not assist she's going to divorce him and should the divorce go through she would give him full custody so it's like the burden is too much she doesn't want to be the one taking care of the child the kids alone and then she went on to talk about how she sacrificed everything her schooling her career and her health for the man and the kid um See, let me say this being a mom is not easy if you want to be a present mom there's no way you would be a mom and then you would be schooling and having a career that is booming that is that is doing well you're going to school and you're doing well at school you have a career and your career is great you're doing well at work and then you're being a full-time mom it's not possible you have to choose you have to choose so most people when they give birth to a baby they go for the full-time mom because obviously their baby needs them and if you see a full-time mom with a baby you should just know that that woman has given up a lot of things and this that woman you're seeing is a human being she has her dreams and aspiration she abandoned things we are humans if you abandon something and you look back and see people you were doing that thing with and how far they've gone you might feel some certain type of way to get especially if you have if something made you abandon that especially a child if you don't love that kid you might end up resenting that kid and some people might end up living in regrets all through their life so being a mom is a sacrifice is a huge one you need to make a whole lot of sacrifice just to bring a life into this world and nurture that person that baby kudos to all the moms out there kudos to everybody that whether you birthed a child or you're taking care of a child whether a child is yours or is not yours kudos to everybody that's doing that out there it's not easy it's not easy and also be sure that this is something you want to go into because some people don't know what it takes to be a mom they just say they just feel like they want to have a baby or the people around them made them do that or maybe they told them into it oh you're, you're now an adult consider getting married and having a baby or you should have a baby your cousins are having kids or you're, you're now of age go ahead and have a baby people just do it because people encourage them to do it people pressure them to do it the society demanded them to do it so if you have to be a mom if you want to be a mom do a proper research because i tell you not every mother is happy not every woman is happy being a mom i've read 
a lot of stories here on this channel even the ones i didn't even bring up here i've seen a lot of stories of women regretting having kids and always talking about oh they would have done this they abandoned their career they were doing this before they had good health before and now they can't even say anything good about your health they've been in and out of the hospital after giving birth then you see you hear some people say oh my career i was supposed to do this i'm not even earning as much i'm supposed as much as i'm supposed to earn because i have a baby no one is going to take care of the baby so many things so many things so do a proper research and have an idea of what you're about to get into so you will not be taking on our ways anyways guys this is where it is this is a sad story let me know your thoughts in the comment section and um i'll see you guys in the next one if you want to be child free do a research and be sure of what you're also getting into i'll see you guys in another one thanks for watching bye